You mind to talk a minute? Was this what you was planning? Be honest, you want it? Come on, get up, I want it. Hands full of innocence, touching you when I sin. Admit it, you've been with it. No witnesses committed. At first, it felt so wrong. They wanted us no more. The love we have held on. There's nothing breaking us up. Steady wanted what we were. Hold me, you're just enough. Let me take your hand and run. We are back with another video. Yes, welcome back to our channel, you guys. If you're new, you already know what to do. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notification bell so y'all can follow us on all social medias. Links will be on the screen. And down below in the description. Yes, y'all. So if, we're, if you see us wearing the same exact outfit we wore on our Alasha's TV <laughs> channel, it's because we're doing a, a two-bird, one-stone kind of thing. Yes. So We actually just got back from a WNBA game, y'all. So mm -hmm. go watch that video. Yes, we did something for the very first time. It was kind of nerve-wracking, but we got the jitters out. But it was out. fun. Yeah, it was, it was cool. The reason why I was nervous was because I've never done anything like that. Yeah, same. So, I'm that big, so. So, go check it out. I'll yeah. link it. I'll, I'll link it down below, and I'll try to put the card on here on the screen so you guys can check it out. Yeah, um, yeah I took my lashes off because um, she was giving up. Like <laughs> I was, like, not trying to. We've had a long day, y'all. Yeah, and I had a long morning. Morning but, and day. It's yeah. four thirty. This is our first meal of the day. Mm -hmm. All we had today was a banana. So right. So I got. This is about to be so good. I got this. What is this, babe? This is the poke, poke crunch bowl. Yeah. And then they got this one. We we all get like different foods. So we because, can eat off each other. Yeah, we like to eat off of each other's food. Sometimes I'm like, hey, dang, slow down. Or she's like, babe, slow down, because. <laughs> but you know. I know some of you guys may not consider this real poke, which is fine, but this is the California um, bowl, and I don't know, Ruby and I really like this too. Yeah. Um, if you're not into like raw fish, this is be this is perfect for you because it's just um mm -hmm. imitation crab meat and uh, like sauce and stuff and veggies, but it's so good. It is here. Dear Father, thank you so much for another wonderful day. Thank you for the food you provide us. We ask for you to sanctify and make it nourishing to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, yeah, I'm about to go in, okay? A girl is starving. This I is my favorite poke spot here. In Las Vegas, so yes. this don't ever disappoint me. This Let me not jinx it, but mm. oh my gosh, I miss it. By the way, this is our first time having it since being back from back home. Mm. I miss it. Mm. Mind you, we haven't had any like real meal all day. At this all. is our first meal, and it's a it's four, y'all. We just had a banana. That's it. It's four thirty. It's four thirty. So this is hidden. Hidden, huh? hidden. Hmm. But anyways, as y'all could tell by the title, we are doing a story time. Someone was mentioning how they wanted to see a story time on how my sister caught me in her dating, like how my sister caught me being like gay. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Um. It's actually really funny. It's a funny <laughs> story. But let me get some bites in because y'all, I'm starving. So I'm gonna get my bites in and. Huh. We're going to talk about story time. Mm. We've had a, like a long day, but it was a fun day. Fun. Like. Fun, fun, fun. And our day still isn't done. I think we deserve dessert after this day. We do. Mm. But of course, that's going to be in our other vlog. Not this video. Not, not on this channel. Right. But yeah, y'all. So, I'll start off while we were eating. Um... So Riri, I'm gonna just put it out there like this. Riri was just not slick at all with her texting me. That's pretty much how it went. Mm -hmm. So, hold on y'all, cause I really don't like talking while there's food in my mouth. For those of you that know, you know that I met my wife um, in Kansas, right? Um, I think it was around Christmas time. It was around the holidays for sure. Um, so no, I ended up having when, not when we met, but but when this happened. Yeah. So my sister and my brother-in-law and I ended up driving. Yo, it was a freaking long ass drive. Okay. We just wanted to drive like that far for the experience, and never again. Like that was horrible. <laughs> I will never sit in a car for freaking like twenty some hours. But anyways, we took a trip from Kansas to um idaho driving idaho yeah. driving was it was it was cool because it was around, it was around winter time so the mountains and everything was like pretty but um yeah 
Because me and Trina started texting from there. You remember that? Mm -hmm. We started texting like oh, damn near every day, y'all. Like every second. So we, we were always texting each other. And um, so this one time. So I had my sister. So this was my fault. This is how I wasn't slick on my part, okay? It wasn't a texting. It was the fact that I had her name. I think I made her name period heart. Like, you know, the heart mm -hmm. emoji. It was XO. Oh, yeah. So it was a period XO. I don't remember See, that. I'm forgetting that. But yeah, it was a period XO. And y'all, my wife, she was texting me every day. And every guys, single day, every single second. Mind you, back then, iPhones couldn't like hide. You know how now you it could just say iMessage? Yeah. Like, it won't show the preview That's of the, the message. Yeah. Back then, it shows the preview of the message. Like, you couldn't, like, choose if you wanted to show it or not. So, that's exactly how it got caught. Yeah. So, we were having, I think, like, lunch or breakfast, something, or some kind of meal during the day. And I had my, my phone on the counter. If my sister watches this and I get some, like, parts <laughs> wrong, she'll, she'll know. But, like, I can't remember exactly what happened. But, anyways, we're in Idaho. Um, it was my brother-in-law's brother's house because they were military too so we were having like um we we're having the holidays there she had texted me and mind you all we text each other she starts texting me like my time seven in the morning and my baby was just obsessed with me all like she was texting me like that and the best believe i was replying like that because you know when you're feeling someone oh my gosh this guy's like literally staring at us like on the right like we're in a random park lot staring at us and it's, it's just so awkward he just caught my eye but anyways um so she had texted me and she texted i'm so what did you say i said i'm so glad that i met you that night mm -hmm. at the party and okay y'all you can't really consider people nosy okay so let's say you're at a table whatever it may be dinner table or wherever you're at and you have your phone facing up and your ringtone like rings and the light goes off like where it shows the message you can people's eye will people's mm -hmm. eyes will just automatically naturally. look at it naturally. Yeah, naturally you don't even have to be nosy you don't have to be your nosy is if you're going close to it and you're like this you know what i mean and you're but, like trying to read it <laughs> yeah so my sister i guess it caught my sister's attention i was busy because i was putting my food like i said i don't know what kind of meal we were having i don't know if it was lunch breakfast or dinner but we were having some kind of meal and um it went off and i was so like occupied because i was you know putting my food and i guess my sister saw it and when she saw it she was like who did who, who who's exo on your phone i'm like what are you talking about hmm. and it was her and it said i'm so glad i met you that night at the party at the party so my sister it, she was just she going was, back she was to smart thinking. about it she was thinking like who's at the party that we just met she like, was connecting the dots she and she connected it real quick she connected it right and then she ended up talking to my brother-in-law and they were trying to get things together and i just kept lying y'all just kept lying <laughs> it's not a girl blah 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 because i was still in the closet we were yeah. dating mind you we hit our relationship for like a year you know like we were still in the closet we weren't ready to come out mm -hmm. um so it I, days went by weeks i think went by she ended up i guess it was like like my sister wanted to know because it was bugging her like you know let me know like my sister she was supportive about it but i think what bugged her the most is how i you were keeping it from i her. was keeping it from yeah. her and i didn't want to like admit it and she knew you know and um so one day I was at my cousin's house and I, my sister brought me in the room with her and her um, husband and they're like, like, let us know, you know, like, are you, are you dating Trina? Are you seeing Trina? Like, what is it? Because we know it's her, but you just keep, you just keep denying it. And I'm like, and the reason they knew it was me guys is because I said, I'm so glad I met you at the party that night. And she said that uh, the only she said regine tell me the truth because the only new person that was there was trina right so she was like i said she was connecting the dots and she got it right so that's how they found out. so she asked me about it and i i i don't know if i cried i don't know if i cried because i was so scared to admit it but because y'all she's my older sister so um i told her about it and i told him about it because um her husband and you know her were like in the same room as me and I admitted it to it. I was like, yeah, it's her. Like, please don't tell. I was telling them, like, don't tell mom and dad. Like, I'll eventually let them know. Blah, yeah. Blah. And I came out. It felt good to at least admit it to someone. To someone, yeah. And to know that my sister and my brother-in-law was so supportive about it. It made me feel good, you know? Like, it made me feel like I couldn't finally come out to my parents, but <laughs> that didn't happen. So that's how we got caught, y'all. So for the rest of that year that we were in the closet, her sister and her brother-in-law were the only ones that knew. And I, you know, I appreciate them for keeping it a secret for us because we weren't ready to come out. But they were cool about it. Like sure, for for a while, they knew about us. 
they were cool with it you know they knew that i would come over and dry mm -hmm. it was honestly it was a relief that they found out True. because at first when regine texted me she literally said oh my gosh babe courtney and i don't know and i was like oh. i was like no way like you know i was so shook and i was like damn babe like nobody's supposed to know blah 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 but i'm not gonna lie it was such a, it was kind of a relief to um for them to to know i feel like it kind of you know how things happen for a reason i feel like that happened for a reason so that i was able to freely mm -hmm. you know visit right. riri because she like she said she was living with them mm -hmm. and um you know i was able to like freely drive to their place and you know visit riri and, and you know but just you like were, be but together. you were staying with your cousin right? yeah time. i was staying with my cousin every time i went to port riley but like you know obviously i'll go to riri's mm -hmm. place and like pick yeah. her up or like come to her there and but what was so crazy y'all that blew my mind is that okay so my sister and my brother-in-law knew but all those years of hiding and no one around the people we we hung out with knew like they just told her like close friends but mm. it was so far from that but anyways y'all that is our story time we're gonna mm. go ahead finish eating because like she said or like i said we're we're vlogging too so you know we're yes. still gonna continue vlogging this camera's about to die we're about to switch up the battery so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to follow us on our social medias don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on your post notification bell and we'll see y'all in the next video we love you guys love you guys and we are out peace and god bless you mind to talk a minute was this what you was planning? Be honest, you want it Come on, get up, I want it Hands full of innocence